Are you familiar with the song Aerosol Can? Are you familiar with this line from Aerosol Can? Make yourself bigger like mushroom. Mario Kart. Well, regardless, you are now, and that's what's important for this video. I like occasionally checking Genius.com, which is a song lyric and song meaning site. I usually do this to understand misheard lyrics and get the context of lines that I didn't already understand. It was during a recent trip to Genius that I was reading up on various lines from Aerosol Can by Major Lazer and Pharrell Williams, including the line that I played before. Mario Kart, yeah. According to Genius, or rather according to this line's annotator on Genius, Eduardo Pop, the line's meaning is this. In most circumstances, if Super Mario uses a mushroom, he gets bigger. That said, in Mario Kart, it works as a short speed boost, which works even better, fitting with the pacey theme of the song. Eduardo Pop's statement isn't exactly wrong. There are a variety of mushroom types in the Mario series, including the regular Super Mushroom that gives kart racers a short speed boost, which is the shroom that Eduardo Pop was referring to. But I don't think his annotation was the best way to describe the origin of Pharrell's line in the song. For a variety of reasons, I believe that the Super Mushroom is not the mushroom that Pharrell was talking about. If we take into account that the song was released in 2014 on Apocalypse Soon by Major Lazer, but was being worked on as early as 2012, then the most recent console Mario Kart game would have been Mario Kart Wii. Mario Kart Wii. So if Pharrell was playing any Mario Kart, then it probably would have been Mario Kart Wii. It is of course possible that he or his son owned a 3DS with 2011's Mario Kart 7, but I can't find any evidence online of Pharrell ever playing it. Pharrell isn't a stranger to video games. Though he admitted in a 2014 ABC News article that his friends were more into games than he was growing up. Despite this claim to ABC News, he has this chain featuring a star and super mushroom from the Mario series. And the music video for Everyone Knows heavily featured imagery inspired by Donkey Kong, Space Invaders, and Galaga. Finally, this is a photo of his home media center in 2016. If we zoom in here, there's a blurry Luigi, Yoshi, and Mario displayed proudly in his home at the time. I can't tell exactly what these things are under them, but they kind of look like Wiimotes in a charging stand. So maybe he and his son Rocket played Mario Kart in this very room, leading Pharrell to come up with the line that started this whole investigation. I actually have a pretty good feeling that this is where he was living while writing Aerosol Can because of this line. Yeah, I know that I'm making when I'm chilling with Stewie. Yeah. Referring to these paintings that were hung in the same Miami penthouse as his home media center where his Mario figurines lived. I suppose this still doesn't disprove Eduardo Pop's annotation stating that Pharrell didn't know how mushrooms worked in Mario Kart, but I have already presented some evidence that he was playing Mario Kart Wii at the time, and if he were playing Mario Kart Wii, then there are mushrooms that do in fact make the player larger instead of providing a short speed boost, as long as the mushroom in question is the Mario Kart Wii exclusive Mega Mushroom. The reason I made this video isn't to just debase Eduardo Pop, but to bring Genius.com's failure to light. Genius is a huge brand at this point, and it's even integrated into Spotify for some songs, and that's a service that I use every single day. The fact that misinformation like Eduardo Pop's annotation has stuck around on the site for seven whole years is baffling when considering how many people have perused the lyrics. With 98.8 thousand viewers drawn to this page alone, it makes me wonder how many of them have read this annotation and were led astray by Eduardo Pop. And I suppose I shouldn't blame Eduardo Pop exclusively. He is only the Genius.com user who suggested the annotation. He's not the one who approved it. That would be verified editor Hello There Tom. Tom is really the one to blame here. Despite a reputation backed by just a ton of activity on Genius, he's the one at fault for this oversight. I suppose my only option is to look into getting this fixed myself. The world deserves to know Pharrell's lyrical intentions. I don't know why. I don't know how this will benefit the world, but I will not stand by and let this misinformation remain.